Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. We get networking questions all the time at live.perlo.com, and the user known as 52 is asking the difference between Cat5 and Cat6 cables. Cat, by the way, stands for category, and 5 would be a level of certification for that particular cable, 6 as well. He's probably asking the difference between a Cat5e, or enhanced, and a Cat6 cable, and can you tell the difference? No, you really can't. Uh, it boils down to how much data each cable can safely transfer without that many errors or interruptions. Cat5e is certified up to 100 megahertz, and Cat6 is certified up to 250. Well, what does that mean? Well, to the average person, that means uh, the more audio and video that you're passing around a house or a, a network, uh, Cat6 is going to be able to handle more of it uh, compared to a Cat5e cable. That being said, uh, Cat5e cables, which I've pretty much been using for the past mm, five, six, seven years, well, has it been that long? No, it couldn't, well, maybe. Anyway, it's been a while. Uh, these things are rated specifically for 100 base T networks or traditional wired networks. Well, now you have these, uh, these newer networks that can handle much more, 10 times as much, called gigabit. You've probably heard of gigabit ethernet before. Um, they're specifically supposed to be used in conjunction with Cat6 cables because Cat6 cables can handle gigabit speeds. Well, that being said, Cat5e can push close to gigabit speeds. So, if you want to upgrade your home network to a faster system, you got to make sure you remove all the bottlenecks. It's not necessarily just tied into the cable. You got to make sure that your router is gigabit. You got to make sure that your network is gigabit. You got to make sure that your network, like series of cables connecting the computers, uh, whether it's inside the walls or outside. Then you got to make sure that all your network cards are cards. Yeah, because they're network cars. You have to make sure everything is rated gigabit and is, is specifically set up for that. Uh, the cable is really the last of your worry. You know, I've transferred things back and forth um, over a gigabit router and a gigabit uh, um, switch here at, at, here at my house. And I, I've used uh, Cat5e and haven't had an issue. Uh, that being said, I have gone out and, and, and purchased a handful of uh, Cat6 cables because now they're just as cheap. Uh, to, to actually purchase. So the difference boils down to uh, speed, uh, reliability, and, and really being able to push a lot more data through the network. Right now, we're just beginning to tap the speeds of gigabit Ethernet, but you can imagine the days when we're going to be pushing audio and video and all this high quality stuff, not to mention all the networking, sharing files, and whatnot. Uh, you're you're going to want a, a much more robust uh, infrastructure, and part of it is the actual cables that connect one computer to another. So hopefully that uh, distills it down, uh, makes it as clear as I can possibly make it in the shortest amount of time possible. And if anybody wants to add any other clarification, be my guest.